guys, I'm Lane Vids. We have Zeke here. We are down in his classroom because he has a science experiment that he wants to show us. We're gonna be extracting fluorescein from some highlighters and we're gonna have some pretty awesome uh, shots with this kind of stuff when the lights go out and the black light comes on. It's time for a science experiment. This is what you need for this science experiment. You're gonna wanna uh, use some clear containers, some highlighters, various colors, although we're gonna find out not all highlighters are made equal. You want some gloves, although uh, highlighter juice uh, cleans up with just water better than anything. Fireproof ones, a squirter of a type, and some high concentration alcohol. Here we're just gonna use isopropyl, but uh, if you've got some really strong liquor, um, that, that works too. as well, yes. You also need a black light. Yeah, and you can find these actually on sale at different places for as low as uh, 15 bucks, oh, maybe go. even on Amazon. Right, right. Yeah, I'll link that up down below. I'll see what I can find for you guys if you guys want to try out this experiment. We're going to take some highlighters and then we've got to open them up. So we'll go ahead and get set up with that. Remove cap. We want to get rid of that. So. Either pair of cutting pliers. Squeeze and twist, boy. Squeeze. There you go. And that's the money right there. You could try just squeezing, and you can get a good bit out here. Oh, wow. oh look at that. Oh, Lovely. yum. Squeeze in half so you get both ends down there, okay? So to get the rest of this fluorescein juice out, we're going to use the alcohol. Because the alcohol and the fluorescein, um, they're phobic, and they want to repel each other. So the alcohol is going to help us to get this out of the tube. Now a lot of the times the top of the alcohol has a small enough opening where it can work as a squirter just fine. But we look so much more professional <laughs> when we're using doohickeys. <laughs> Gotta love a doohickey. <laughs> and that's that one. This is just about enough juice that we're going to need. We're going to put a little more alcohol in here for experiment's sake. Uh, but we've got a good amount here that's going to be fine for what we want. Oh man, that's going in the... <laughs> <laughs> Max it out, max it out. Make it right for the lane bids video, that's right. We only give the best to you guys. <laughs> All right, so in just a moment, we're gonna kill the lights and we're gonna turn on the black light and we're gonna see what happens when these UV rays uh, hit these different colors. Whoa, that does glow. Oh, so, wow. As you can see, not all highlighters are created the same. It's very clear the yellow, which was the original highlighter, it has the most glow. Even in sunlight at certain angles, uh, you'll see it begin to glow. This was the orange. I know it doesn't look like it, but this was actually the orange highlighter oh, in here. Oh, wow. And here's the blue. The blue doesn't appear to have any glow at all. And so in all the experiments we did with my students, we couldn't really get the, glow to, uh, the blue to glow. So it might just be some type of marker. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool looking. You gonna pour both? Yep. All right, do it. That is cool. Well, that was cool. Now what, are we gonna set it on fire or something? Of course. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Thumbs up if you wanna set it on fire. Now you wanna pour your highlighter and alcohol back into your cup. Swish around. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Now we're going to try it with the black light on.
This was an awesome experiment, guys. It's very similar to the Ring of Fire and the Big Jug thing that we did. Yeah, same yeah. thing, except this time we did the uh, the fluorescence widget, which was really cool. We would really appreciate it if you guys shared this video. Wherever you're watching it, just click that share button. If you're a teacher and you want to show this in the classroom, feel free to use it. Feel free to use any of our science experiments. So thumbs up if you guys like this video. And if you want more videos from us, make sure you click my forehead to click that subscribe right there. As always, we appreciate it when you guys watch our videos, when y'all thumbs up the videos, when y'all share our videos. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon, for all you guys who support us on Patreon. And thanks for being shiggity shay.